All right, guys, so today I have another very, very cool card trick to show you, as well as um, I'll be revealing the winner of the giveaway. So the winner is fading underscore AC3. So check your Instagram um, DMs and we'll get this all st uh, sorted out. So if you don't reply within the next 48 hours or so, um, or by the time I upload my next video, I'll have to go with somebody else. So again, congratulations. And um, anyways, guys, here is the video. All right, so here's how you guys are gonna be able to start off the trip. So essentially you just take a random deck, okay? So it's completely, you know, impromptu. You don't have to even set up the deck because all you're gonna do is have the spectators uh, just think of a card, okay? You say, look, I don't wanna you know, influence your decision at all, I just want you to think of a card. And let's say, for instance, they were to say something like the Seven of Hearts, all right? So they were thinking of the Seven of Hearts, and all you're gonna do is tell them that you're gonna take their selection, okay, this completely random selection, and you are going to lose it uh, somewhere into the middle of the deck, right? And now from here, you're gonna tell them, listen, I want you to think of, just think of a number, um, you know, 1 through 52, and we're going to use that number to actually find your card. All right, so go ahead, you tell them, just think of a number 1 through 52. In this case, let's say the spectator says something like 18, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cards down the deck. You tell your spectator, go ahead and look at that card for me. Lo and behold, that's going to be their card. So if you guys want to see how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the good part is this trick isn't too difficult. All you have to know is the slip force, and I'll be showing you a little simple card control. Um, essentially, you just take the cards, and the spectator is truly going to think of whatever, um, whatever card they want to. So you spread the deck, they think of whatever card they want to. In this case, let's say, for example, they pick, they're thinking of the three of clubs, right? So you square up the deck, and all you have to do is when you take their card, in this case, the three of clubs, you open up the deck with one hand, put their card kind of out jog like this. So from the top, it looks like that. It's this kind of out jog. And all you're going to do is hit it on the corner towards your body. So in a diagonal motion, you don't square it up like this, but you square it up like that. And essentially, that's going to out jog that card towards you. As you can see, if I move this card back, you can see that card now. It's actually out jogged or in jogged just a little bit. And what you're gonna do is curl up on that card. So I'll show you an exposed view. That's their card there. Push down with your pinky, pull up with your thumb. And now you can take out the bottom packet, put that on top, and essentially their card is moved to the bottom. So you can do whatever you want, whatever control, but that's just a little glimpse of what I did um, in the video. And then I just did an overhand shuffle, and I overhand shuffled the cards all the way until I brought their card on top. So whatever way you want to do it, just make sure that you bring um, their card to the top of the deck. And then from here, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to leave a link on the screen for the slip force. Essentially, all you're doing is taking the top card and making it look like it's coming from the middle. So I'll leave a link for that so you guys can see the mechanics of the slip force. And that's pretty much it. So if, as long as you know the slip force, you can make their card look like it comes from anywhere um, in the middle of the deck. But in reality, it's just actually the card that was on top of the deck. So they say whatever number they want. Um, I would say, you know, try to have them pick a number 10 through 20 if you can. Because um, if it gets down to the 40s, you can still do it into the 40s. Uh, the only thing you got to make sure is that you go one card at a time like that. So you could have them pick whatever card, whatever number, but you don't want them to pick too short because then it might not be as cool. But you can have them go down, you know, as far as you want, as long as you can just riffle down a single card at a time and boom, their card actually comes from directly that number that they chose. So. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, congrats again to the winner of the giveaway and thank you guys so much for participating. Um, if you're not new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching.
ね。